हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथमेटिक्स क्लास ऑफ सेवन स्टार कॉन्वेंट स्कूल टूडे इज अवर टॉपिक इज रोमन न्यूमरल्स स्टूडेंट्स वी नो न्यूमरल्स लाइक जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन दीज न्यूमरल्स विच वी यूज इन अवर राइटिंग नंबर्स दीज न्यूमरल्स आर इंडियन इन ऑरिजिन बट अरब्स पिक दम अप एंड स्प्रेड टू द यूरोप दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड हिंदू अरेबिक हिंदू अरेबिक न्यूमरल सिस्टम हिंदू अरेबिक न्यूमरल सिस्टम बट This is not the only system present in the world. One of the earlier system of numeration is is still present in common use, which was developed by the Romans, and that is called Roman numerals. This Roman numeral system is is still present in lots of areas, such as books, magazines, clock faces, denoting rank in a class, etc. Today we will learn about Roman numerals. Students, in Roman numbers there are seven different symbols for numeration. These symbols are look like English letters. Today we will see how to write the Roman numbers. For representing one, there is a Roman numerals like I. For representing five. Roman numerals like V for representing 10 like X for representing 50 Roman numerals is like L for representing 100 Roman numerals like C for representing 500 Roman numerals like D and for representing 1000 roman numerals like m these are seven different symbols in roman numbers now you need to learn all the symbols for reading and writing the roman numerals now there are some rules for reading and writing the roman numerals let's see the rule number 1 Rule number one says, if a symbol is repeated, then its value is added as many times as it occurs. That means, if we write like this, then it become one. But if we write like this, then its value will be one plus one equals to two. And if we write like this, then its value will be. One plus one plus one equals to three. If we write like this, then its value like ten plus ten equals to twenty. But there are some cautions in this rule. The caution number one is V, L, and G are never repeated. That means we cannot repeat these letters. that means we can only repeat i x c and m we can only repeat these letters we cannot repeat v l and d the caution number 2 is we cannot repeat a letter more than 3 times we cannot repeat these letters more than 3 times that means we only can repeat i x c and m but we cannot repeat these letters also more than 3 times we cannot write like i i i i it will be wrong okay now rule number 2 if a symbol of smaller value is written to the right of the symbol of greater value then we add its value to the value of greater symbol like if you write v and i then it becomes 
फाइव प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू सिक्स इफ यू राइट एक्स एंड आई इट बिकम्स टेन प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू इलेवन इफ यू राइट एक्स वी इट बिकम्स टेन प्लस फाइव इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन एक्सेट्रा नाउ रूल नंबर थ्री If a symbol of a smaller value is written to the left of a greater value, then its value is subtracted from the value of greater symbol. That means if we write i to the left of v, it becomes five minus one and it becomes four. If we write i before the x, it becomes ten. Minus one and it will be nine. If we write x before the c, that means it becomes hundred minus ten equals to ninety, etc. Now, students, here are some cautions of this rule. Caution number one is the symbol i can be subtracted from v and x only. That means we can only subtract i from v and x. we can write like iv and ix but we cannot write like ic it will be wrong we cannot write like il it will be wrong these kind of numbers will be wrong this is our caution number 1 the caution number 2 is the symbol x can be subtracted from l m and c only that means we can write x before the l and we can write x before the m and we can write x before the c but we cannot write x before the d it will wrong this is our caution number 2 now the caution number 3 is the symbol c can be subtracted from d and m only that means we can write c before the d and we can write c before the m but we cannot write c before the any other number okay now students is time to rule number 4 rule number 4 rule number 4 is If a smaller numeral is placed between two larger numerals then it is always subtracted to the larger number which is right to the smaller number that means if we write like this then we see here here are two larger numbers and one smaller number between two larger numbers in this case the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number which is just right to the smaller number that means it becomes 10 plus 5 minus 1 and it will be 10 plus 4 equals to 14 take another example if write like this in this case also the i is written in the mid of 2x that means a smaller number is written between two larger number in this case we minus this smaller number to the right side of larger number it becomes 10 plus 10 minus 1 and it becomes 10 plus 9 and it becomes 19 we are taking one more example of this rule If there is a number like c x i v, then what will happen? We see clearly the smaller number is written between the two larger number. That means we need to subtract this number from the larger number, which is right side to the smaller number. It becomes hundred plus ten plus five minus one, and it becomes. 110 plus 4 finally it becomes 114 this is our rule number 4 now students moving to our last rule which is rule number 5 rule number 5 is if 
a bar place over a numeral then that numeral is multiplied by thousand for example we can say if somewhere right like this a bar is placed over the numeral then this number will multiply by thousand and it becomes five into thousand and finally it becomes five thousand somewhere if right like this then in this case also we can see a bar is placed over a numeral then we can say this numeral will be multiplied by thousand and it becomes 50 into thousand finally it becomes 50,000 this was the rules of roman numerals students now we take some examples for better understanding of roman numerals if question says write down these number in roman numerals then you can write it simply like if here is a 49 for the 49 you can write like x l i x for the 72 you can write like l x 50 10 60 10 70 1 1 that is 72 it becomes 72 for the 98 you can write like x c 90 and now it's become 95 96 97 98 for the 30 you can write x x and x it will be 30 okay students now we will write some of the roman numbers into the hindu arabic numbers the first one is like x x i x then it becomes 10 plus 10 plus 10 minus 1 it means it becomes 20 plus 9 and it becomes 29 the second one is c stands for 100 l stands for 50 plus x stands for 10 and v stands for 5 it becomes 150 60 165 now the third one is l stands for 50 plus x that means 10 plus 10 plus 10 and plus ix that is 10 minus 1 finally it becomes 50 10 60 70 and 80 80 plus 10 minus 1 9 that means 89 this is our answer students i hope you like this video thank you